वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस इज़ डॉक्टर शोभना डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री बायो टेक्नोलॉजी एंड बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स अवना शिलिंगम इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर होम साइंस एंड हायर एजुकेशन फॉर वुमेन कॉन बटोर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट माइटोसिस एंड इट्स रेगुलेशन द सेल साइकिल इज द पीरियड फ्रॉम द बर्थ ऑफ अ सेल बाय द डिफिशन ऑफ इट्स पेरेंट सेल टू द टाइम इट इन टर्न बिहेन्स टू डिवाइड cells originate through the division of pre-existing cells the cell division processes have to take place if any organism that grows or requires repair in order to produce new cells the cell division cycle duration varies from 2 to 3 hours for simple microbes to around 24 hours in a human cell grown in a culture dish this module deals with a type of cell division called as mitosis This module also explains about the types of cell division, detailed steps involved in the process and the checkpoint that happens during the process. Cell division. Cell may be divided by any one of the following three methods. One is mitotic which is also called as equational cell division which is called as mitosis. Second one meiotic or reductional cell division called as meiosis and direct cell division called as a mitosis first we'll see about the general features of cell cycle in the life cycle of a cell cell cycle is the repetition of g1 s g2 and m phases the main objective of cell division is to replicate the genome and transmit its counterparts into the daughter cells through the segregation of chromatids the main divisional phase mitosis or meiosis which is called as m phase remains separated from the dna replication phase s or synthesis phase by two preparatory or gap periods one preceding the s phase which is called as the g1 or gap 1 phase and the other succeeding the s phase which is called as the g2 or gap 2 phases the phases s g1 and g2 are collectively called as the interphase the most crucial phase in the cell cycle is the g1 phase and if it is appears to be unfavorable it enters into a specialized resting phase called as g0 where they remain for days weeks year or even permanently if there is any appearance of extra cellular signals favorable for the cell to grow and divide the cell will then resumes division and re enters into the g1 phase The total duration of cell cycle in mammalian cell is 24 hours of which interphase lasts for 23 hours and m phase for only 1 hour. S phase occupies 10 to 12 hours because it is the most vital phase in which the total amount of DNA that is 2n is replicated to 4n. Thus in G2 phase the cell has two complete 2n set of chromosomes. During the course of metabolism in interphase the volume of both nucleus and cytoplasm change in addition to duplicating their genome cells duplicate other organelles and macromolecules when the nuclear volume becomes approximately double in respect to the volume of the cytoplasm then cell tends to divide cell cycle is basically regulated by a complex consist of structural proteins called cyclins and a kinase called cyclin dependent kinase which is called as cdks cdks are the principal protein that drives the molecular events of the cell cycle but unless they are tightly bound to cyclin they have no kinase activity however their ability to trigger various events completely depends upon the structural protein cyclin cyclins activate their partner cdk to form a complex which induces cell cycle progression there are three kinds of cdks noted cdk2 cdk4 and cdk6 the expression timings of cyclins vary in different parts of cell cycle example cyclin b occurs in g1 phase cyclin a and e occurs in the g1 and s phase while a and b1 occurs in s g2 and m phases If there is any defect cyclin CDK complex formation is inhibited and if there is no defect the complex is activated by phosphorylation that leads to the activation of transcription factor which then transactivate a specific gene necessary for the next cycle step now we will move on to in detail about what is mitosis mitosis means thread 
oocyst means production that is maintenance of chromosomal continuity and diploid number Strasburger in the year 1882 described cell division in plant cells and introduced the modern usage of terms the cytoplasm and the nucleoplasm in the same year Fleming a German biologist also gave the term mitosis it is the normal process of cell division from cleavage of zygote to the death of the organism large number of divisions are involved in life span of an animal or plant cell for example in the life span of human cells approximately 10 power 16 divisions takes place the term mitosis refers to the process of cell division in which a cell accurately replicates its cytoplasm and as well as the nuclear contents and distribute identical copies of the replicated genome into two daughter cells maintaining the exact replica of the parent cell mitosis is commonly associated with the body cells which is called as the somatic cells of the organism now we'll move on about the phases of mitosis although mitosis m phase usually the shortest one occupying an hour or so it is conveniently divided into two phases one is karyokinesis and second one is cytokinesis karyokinesis is also called as the nuclear division which involves the division of nucleus or chromosomes cytokinesis is also called as the cytoplasmic division which involves a division of cytoplasm karyokinesis is a highly complicated process and is conveniently divided into five phases prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase the main events are as follows prophase is also the triggers the chromosomes condensation spindle assembly and nuclear envelope breakdown prophase which is called as pro means before phases means appearance is the initial phase or the stage of nuclear division that includes all the events up to the moment of chromosome towards the equator the longest stage in cell division is prophase during this phase the chromosomes appear as delicate longitudinally coiled filaments extended or twisted within the nuclear sphere as a progression of prophase the chromosomes become shorter and shorter as a result of condensation and become longitudinally double that is each of them consists of two chromatids which is tightly connected to each other at a constricted region called as centromere which is shown in the figure as the chromosomes grow shorter and thicken simultaneously the nucleolus gradually starts becoming smaller and finally disappears in the late prophase nuclear membrane also disintegrates meanwhile another important organelle comes into the action which is the centrosome which is a small zone of granular material located close to the nucleus centrosome is the main organizing center for the assembly of microtubules during s phase the centrosome is usually duplicated at the end at the beginning of prophase the two centrosomes separate from each other and start moving towards the opposite ends of a cell and start assembling a mitotic spindle at the same time aster like structures are developed by the assembly of microtubules in the vicinity of each centrosome centrioles is a pair of small cylindrical microtubule containing structures embedded within the centrosomes of animal cells which are oriented at right angles to each other in the process of nuclear division centrioles are not at all essential since it is not present in certain cell types including higher plant cells however they do have a role in the formation of cilia and flagella and at the end of the prophase the length of chromosomes may shrink to 1 by 25 of their length which was at the beginning of the prophase next we are going to see about the prometaphase which is chromosome begin to move towards the spindle the beginning of prometaphase starts with the disintegration of the nuclear membrane the chromosomes are free in the cytoplasm and begin to move towards the central region of the cell prometaphase is thus referred to the movement of chromosome as shown in the figure simultaneously with the disintegration of nuclear membrane spindle like structure called nuclear spindle makes its appearance chemically it consists of long protein fibers which orient in longitudinal directions 
Each chromosome attaches to the spindle fibers through a disc shaped three layered structure called as kinetochore, which is made up of proteins attached to send sequences located in the centrosome region where the replicated DNA molecules remain attached prior to mitosis. Kinetochore serves as an actual attachment site for the microtubules. Each metaphase chromosome contains two kinetochores located on the opposite, opposite sides of the centromere, one associated with each of the two chromatids. Kinetochores of different species vary in size. In animals and lower plants, spindle formation involves the centrioles, aster and aster rays. Formation of spindle initiates with the formation of two pairs of centrioles by the division of pre-existing ones. Each centriole show the aster with the astral rays. Between two asters, a bundle of delicate filaments spindle is formed. The filaments are microtubular in structure and measures about 14 to 23 nanometer in diameter. The mitosis in which the spindle contains centrioles and asters is called as the astral or amphiastral mitosis, which is the characteristics of animals and the lower plants. On the other hand, if spindle lacks centrioles and asters, mitosis is called as anastral and it is the characteristics of the higher plants. Next, we will see about the metaphase, where the chromosomes align at the equatorial plane of the mitotic spindle. The metaphase is also called like meta means beyond, phases means appearance, which begins when the chromosome reaches the equatorial plane where they arrange themselves radially at the periphery of the spindle as shown in the figure. They are so oriented that their centromeres lie along the equator while the arms are directed towards the poles and randomly placed. In plant cells, chromosomes are irregularly arranged that is small chromosomes occupy the interior and the larger chromosomes are located at the periphery and occupy the entire surface of the equatorial plane of the spindle. In case of animals, they arrange themselves radially at the periphery of the spindle. At metaphase stage, chromosomes are sharply demarcated and best observed. By the time of metaphase, irrespective of the presence or absence of centriole spindles, appears between the polar region of the cell uh, about the structure and role in the chromosomal movement. The mitotic apparatus includes the mitotic spindle and asters. The end where microtubule assembly initiates located at the centrosome for spindle microtubules which is called as the minus end while the end where the most growth occurs located away from the centrosome is called as the plus end which is referred in the figure. In mitotic spindle three classes of microtubules have been recognized polar microtubules, kinetoco microtubules and astral microtubules. Polar microtubules form attachments that link the two poles at the overlap. Cross-linking proteins stabilize the polar microtubules. Kinetoco microtubules link metaphase chromosomes aligned at the equatorial plane to each of the poles. Astral microtubules radiate from the each pole in all the direction. A number of theories have been put forward to account the role of the spindle in the movement of chromosomes. The two most logical theories are one is the pulling and pushing theory and the second one is the spindle elongation theory. Both these mechanisms contribute towards the chromosomal movement. Next phase is the anaphase where the chromosomes begin to move towards the opposite poles of the spindle. Anaphase, ana means back, phases means appearance, which is characterized by the movement of chromosomes from spindle equator to spindle poles at a rate of about 1 micrometer per minute. It begins with the splitting of the centromeres and ends with the cessation of chromosomal movement. That is, chromosomes separate into two identical groups at the opposite poles. It is the shortest of all stages in the mitotic cycle that lasts only a few minutes. That is, one micrometer per minute in human cells. This phase is characterized by two kinds of moments, anaphase A and anaphase B, which are referred in the figure. At anaphase A, the chromosomes are pulled. First, the centromere is pulled towards the spindle poles as the kinetochore microtubules get shorter and shorter as a consequence of depolymerization. At anaphase B, the poles themselves move away from each other as the polar microtubules lengthen. Depending on the cell type which is involved, these two phases may occur at the same time or 
the anaphase B may follow the anaphase A. When the chromosomes move, the arms of each one drag behind their centromeres, giving them characteristic shape depending upon the location of the centromere. For example, it can be metacentric uh, where the chromosomes appear V-shaped or it can be submetacentric where it appears J-shaped and in case of telocentric it is rod-shaped. Next phase is the telophase where the chromosomes decondense and reform intact nucleate. Telophase, telos means end, phases means appearance which is the last substage of the nuclear division which is characterized by reorganization of interphase nuclei. Chromosomes become uncoiled and highly elongated so that individual one is not clearly visible. Nucleoli make their appearance at nucleolar organizer or SAT zone which is called as the satellite zone. Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum will reform. The movement and reappearance of nucleolus is not clearly understood. It is possible that during prophase, nucleolar material becomes scattered in the cytoplasm of the cell and recollects during telophase. These changes are accompanied by the resumption of gene transcription, the disappearance of kinetoco microtubules, and the gradual disassembly of the mitotic spindle. A new nuclear envelope forms around each group of the chromosomes. The nuclear lamina reassembles as an underlying support of the nuclear envelope. The major phases of cell divisions are shown here in this picture. The duration of these phases vary in different organisms as well as in different tissues of the same organism itself. So, uh, nuclear division, now we are going to see about the cytoplasmic cell division which is called as the cytokinesis. As shown in the figure, during cell division, the division of the cytoplasm which is called as the cytokinesis. In animals, it is mediated by the formation of cleavage furrow while in plants by the formation of cell plate. First, we'll see about what is a cleavage furrow. The cytoplasm construct in the equatorial region and this construction which is called as furrow is deepened and then eventually pinches the cell into two. Cytokinesis is triggered by the inactivation of MPF, thereby coordinating nuclear and cytoplasmic division of the cell. The first signs of cytokinesis in animal cells appear in the late anaphase or early telophase, when the clusters of dense material accumulate at the equatorial region of the spindle. Soon thereafter, a small depression or cleavage furrow appears in the plasma membrane around the circumference of the cell. This is followed by the formation of contractile ring composed of actin filaments, myosin 2 filaments and many other structural and regulatory proteins just beneath the cleavage furrow. As the cleavage proceeds, this ring of actin and myosin filaments tightens around the cytoplasm, eventually pinching the cell into two. The force needed, uh, needed to tighten the contractile ring and divide the cytoplasm appears to be generated by the interaction of actin and myosin filaments. The actin monomers used in assembling the microfilaments of the contractile ring are obtained by disassembly of the actin filaments of cytoskeleton just as tubulin needed for the spindle microtubules which is derived from the cytoskeletal microtubules. When the cleavage ends as the plasma membrane of the cleavage furrow narrows to form the mid body, the contractile ring is dispersed finally. After complete separation of daughter cells, some components of the residual midbody often remains on inside of the plasma membrane as a mark on the cortex that helps to orient spindle in the subsequent cell division. Next, we are going to see what is the cell plate method. Like animal cells, plant cells are unable to create contractile ring at the cell surface since plant cells are surrounded by a rigid cell wall. Instead, they are partitioned from inside out by the construction of a new cell wall which is called as the cell plate which is formed between the two daughter nuclei. The assembly of cell plate begins in the late anaphase or early telophase and is guided by a structure which is called as the phragmoflast, a parallel array of microtubules derived from overlap polar microtubules. Small vesicles largely derived from the Golgi apparatus piled with the polysaccharides and glycoproteins which are required for the synthesis of new cell wall matrix and are transported to the equator of the spindle by the action of motor proteins. 
here the vesicles fuse to form a disc like membrane enclosed structure called as the cell plate the plate extends outward by further vesicle fusion until it reaches the plasma membrane and the original cell wall and divides the cell into two later the cellulose microfibrils are laid down within the matrix of the cell plate to complete the construction of a new cell wall the plasma desmata that provides channel for continuity between the cytoplasm of adjacent plant cells are also present in the cell plate and new cell cell wall as it forms coming to the significance of mitosis the hereditary characters are carried by the chromosomes from the similar natured cells only our organized growth takes place to produce exactly identical cells the cells have to divide in such a way that all the resulting cells may contain qualitatively and quantitatively identical chromosomes mitosis include the duplication of chromosomes and their separation into two identical groups by this way this process brings about the organized growth and helps in maintaining the genetic integrity of the species mitosis also helps in replacing the older and worn out cells with the new ones now we are going to see about the cell cycle control system so as mentioned earlier if the conditions are not favorable the cell will enter a period of quiescence called g not phase in which the cells may remain viable for months or even years cells also leave the cell cycle in order to differentiate into a specific cell type however it cannot leave the cell cycle wherever it likes but only at certain specific points which is called as the cell cycle checkpoints all the cells possess two crucial control points one is at the late g1 that is just prior to the start of the s phase and the second one is at the late g2 phase at the point of entry into the mitosis which is shown in the figure these two control points allow the cells to monitor both intrinsic and extrinsic factors that are relevant to the successful completion of the cell division the third cell cycle checkpoint the spindle attachment checkpoint is located at the junction between metaphase and anaphase before cell can pass through the spindle assembly checkpoint and start anaphase all the chromosomes must orient properly on the spindle that is two chromatids of each chromosome must orient in such a way that they face opposite poles if the two chromatids that make each chromosomes are not aligned properly the cell cycle is temporarily arrested at this point in the absence of a such control mechanism there would be no guarantee that each of the newly forming daughter cells would receive a complete set of chromosomes all the three checkpoints determine whether or not a eukaryotic cell proceeds throughout the rest of the cycle biochemical examination has revealed that protein encoded by the fission yeast cdc2 gene function as a protein kinase that catalyzes the transfer of a phosphate group from atp to certain other proteins however cdc2 gene product function as a protein kinase only when it is bound to a member of another group of proteins known as cyclins the protein product of the cdc2 gene is therefore a cyclin dependent kinase cdk subsequent studies have revealed that control of eukaryotic cell cycle involves several kinds of cdk molecules and their interaction with multiple form of cyclins thereby creating a variety of different cdk cyclin complexes cyclins undergo a cycle of synthesis and degradation in each cell cycle while cdk's level remain almost constant oscillation of cyclins during cell cycle initiate or regulate the in g2 checkpoint dna sends signal to a series of protein kinases that phosphorylate and inactivate the phosphatase cdc25 this blocks the final dephosphorylation in the activation of mpf thereby blocking entry into the mitosis when dna damage is repaired the inhibitory signal is turned off and the cell cycle progression resumes in g1 checkpoint dna damage blocks progression of cell cycle into s phase by inhibiting the activation of g1 or scdk and scdk complexes in mammalian cells arrest at this g1 checkpoint is mediated by the action of gene regulatory protein 
P53 which is rapidly induced in response to damaged DNA. The P53 in turn stimulates the transcription of several genes. In this module, we have seen what is cell cycle, the various cell division phases that is mitosis, meiosis and ameiosis and the phases of mitosis like prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. And also we have seen what is karyokinesis and cytokinesis. The significance of mitosis were also been seen and finally we have seen the cell cycle checkpoints and the role of DNA damage and its cell cycle progression. So knowing about the cell cycle and its regulation will give you a strong foundation for the subject.